who they believe they are will inform the decisions they make in life from Absolutely. what they wear, <laughs> you know, to how they look after themselves, how they treat mm -hmm. their siblings, how they treat authority, how they pursue the dreams that God has put in their heart or not, who they choose to be friends with, how they treat their friends, who they marry. <laughs> you know, there's mm -hmm. just so many things that stem from this core understanding of one's identity. And so to be able to give them the gift of an unshakable truth, regardless of what right. shifts around them, because they were born into a world that's rapidly shifting. Hello there, Mama. This is the Renewed Mama podcast, and I'm your host, Kimberly Mutar. I'm so glad that you are here taking some time for yourself to slow down, breathe, and check in with your thoughts, the words you are saying, your parenting approach, and your communication, because you and I both know that we need to renew so that we keep going instead of growing weary. You were made to thrive in this motherhood journey and enjoy the moments with your children. Mama, it's time to renew. I'm so thrilled to have Rachel Hilliker with us on the Renewed Mama podcast. Rachel and her husband, Ben, are the authors of the beautiful book for parents and children called God's Masterpiece, Identity Truths for Children. Rachel and Ben want to see God's people understand and confidently walk in their identity as sons and daughters of God. Hello, Rachel. Welcome to the Renewed Mama podcast. I'm so glad that you're here. Thanks so much, Kimberly. It's an honor to be here. Thanks for having me. Well, when God gave me the idea for Speak Life badges, I envisioned those hello, my name is sticker badges that you might wear at a meet and greet. He said that they needed to be for children with the I am truth phrase that spoke to their identity, what God says about them as a person, not just their behavior, but who who God says that they are, who he created them to be. It's God who defines us, right? Mm. So what God says about our children, nice. about you, about me, defines who we are. It's not our feelings, our circumstances, our past mistakes, or what's being portrayed or taught in society. But it wasn't until like three mm -hmm. years later that it actually dawned on me as I see the attack on identity and the agenda to confuse our children about their gender that God, now I fully understand why you had me create Speak Life badges. We all question who I am, where do I belong, what is my purpose? And Speak Life Badges is the tool that parents, teachers, tutors, coaches can use to celebrate, to encourage, to break lies that children are believing by speaking God's truth over them as you award them with a Speak Life Badge. That's Speak Life Badges' mission or purpose. And I say all of that, Rachel, to tell you that how thrilled I was when I learned about your book for children called God's Masterpiece, Identity Truths for Children. You have the same desire to help children to learn their true identity in Christ, what he says about them. So tell us more about God's Masterpiece. Mm -hmm. Sure. So God's Masterpiece is actually two books under one umbrella, if you will. So there's two separate books. The first is called God's Masterpiece, Identity Truths for Children. This is a book that contains 10 scriptural identity truths that are each beautifully illustrated by our illustrator, Naomi McGuffin, with scripture references in the back. Children who can read could read through this book in 10 minutes. 
It's perfect for bedtime. It's perfect for an afternoon read. It's, you know, just one of those books they can go through quickly, but it's potent and it's powerful because what's in it are timeless truths from the everlasting God straight to them. Who are they in Christ? And then the second one is God's masterpiece, a handbook for parents uh, and children on identity. So the reason this one was created as sort of a tandem book along with the first is because my husband Ben and I realized that not every parent would feel comfortable unpacking these profound scriptural identity truths in age-appropriate ways for their children. And so we wanted to help them, not only by unpacking the actual identity truths in a brief age-appropriate explanation, but also then to encourage dialogue, to foster further discussion. And so each explanation is followed by a go further section and then an activity section because kids love concrete ways that reinforce the learning. So something where they can get their hands dirty, something that can be creative and messy and done together with an adult or adults in their lives who want to impart these truths to them. So they can be purchased individually or together, but they are two books to help advance the same message to children who are hungry to know who does God say I am. It's beautiful. Well, when you are talking about how you can just sit and read it in one sitting or you can do it for bedtime, we uh, snuggled on the couch with my kids and I was kind of like, okay, well, guys, we're just going to do one identity tr truth right now because I wanted to, you know, read the discussion part. <laughs> Here And they were like, oh, no, no, mommy, we just want to read the whole thing. And they loved the pictures. It's so pretty. <laughs> so we just sat and enjoyed the whole thing. And I was like, okay, Aww. we'll go back <laughs> later and then read, do all the activities, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's a beautiful book. Right. You're right with the illustrations. Uh, it's And Thank it's you. the, the truths of what God says about us that are even more beautiful. So tell us what mm -hmm. led you to write mm -hmm. these identity truths. Was there anything in your life or in your family that made maybe made you think, well, we need to focus on identity and what God says about us? Right. It's a great question. I wish I had something that was very deep and profound, but the truth <laughs> is my kids were at day camp and I had two hours to myself of quiet. And, you know, profound things happen when we have quiet spaces mm. and we're at rest. We can hear God more clearly. It's so important to have those times. And admittedly, there are many days where I don't have two hours. In fact, most days of my life now, I don't have two hours of quiet, but I did on this day. And so I had my Bible, I had my journal, I was ready to just dig deep. And I was so excited about hearing from the Lord. And before I even began, I heard the Holy Spirit say, write down who your children are. And I knew without him saying anything, as so often is the case when we're hearing from the Lord, that what he wanted me to do was write down their identity mm. in him. And so I started writing down these identity statements and 10 came out. And, you know, sometimes you don't even know what's in you until it's called on. And this was one mm. of those moments. I'm like, these are profound. And it, this desire welled up in me to teach my children. And our two oldest were five and seven at the time. Mm. And so at the breakfast table, <laughs> Yeah. With bedhead and pajamas, <laughs> the teaching began. And, uh, you know, at our house, breakfast is a great time for teaching. They're just awake and they're alert and they're engaged. Mm -hmm. I am not, but uh, this is where the reliance on the Holy Spirit comes in. And he always delivers something very creative through me. So it just works for us. And so I started teaching them and ran it by my husband. Like, I think the Lord wants us to teach the kids this. So 
talk to him about what we were discussing at the breakfast table. And so we just launched on this journey as a family for about six, seven months where we went through identity statements and they really taught me what's effective in communicating the heart of this truth and what is not, you know, what kinds of things would be fun to do and what's not really working. So from that place, God's masterpiece was birthed. Um, the difficulty for us was who is going to illustrate this book? Because neither Ben and I are established illustrators by any means, but God took care of that too. He just, within probably about eight months of the initial seed being planted, he had brought uh, a team around us of people who could help put legs to this and really make it a reality. And that's the story of God's masterpiece. So he partnered us with a phenomenally gifted illustrator, Naomi McGuffin, who's um, just finished up at the University of Windsor and picked up her paintbrush for the first time at the age of like 16, 17, mm -hmm. and painted what looked like a professional painting of a bird. So she's incredibly gifted by God. And it was a wonderful opportunity for her too. And the timing was good. And just the way God works, right? His signature mark, there was a mark of ease to it. It wasn't that there was no work involved. It's just mm -hmm. that the timing, the people, the way it, it came about into something that was ultimately a great resource for parents and children. That's a beautiful story. And I love how you were just uh, sensitive to and open to hear what the Lord wanted you to teach to your children. And then you just dove in and explored that together with them and then <laughs> let him bring something beautiful out of it. Yeah. And what a perfect timing for it to come to when what's going on with society and the curriculum and the school and all that media is forcing on our children and trying to confuse them. And uh, now, just as you were intentional with your children, we can use a tool like this as parents to be intentional to teach them God's truth. And it does take intention. It yes. takes time yes. to slow down and to teach those truths to our children. But mm -hmm. we want that to be written on their heart. Absolutely. Who they believe they are will inform the decisions they make in life from Absolutely. what they wear, <laughs> you know, to how they look after themselves, how they treat mm -hmm. their siblings, how they treat authority, how they pursue the dreams that God has put in their heart or not, who they choose to be friends with, how they treat their friends, who they marry. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. there's just so many things that stem from this core understanding of one's identity. And so to be able to give them the gift of an unshakable truth, regardless of what right. shifts around them, because they were born into a world that's rapidly shifting. Yes, exactly. Exactly. It doesn't <laughs> matter what they experience in life, what troubles, what good things they go through, challenges. If they have that unshakable understanding of who they are. And it's unshakable because it's based on what God says, which is unchanging. Uh, then they can, mm -hmm. they can make it through mm -hmm. whatever they experience in life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Identity truths that I really enjoy. The I am the artwork of the one true God maker of the universe created to worship him. But I also really like, I am the child of my great father, who moves heaven and earth in response to my cries. And then I also really appreciate, I am a friend of high King Jesus who willingly gave up his life for love of me. Those are so beautiful. You already mentioned how God's masterpiece, the handbook is laid out with the verses and the short story or the description of each identity truth, that go further section, and then the activity section with the hands-on crafts and ideas to help make the truth even mm -hmm. more understandable. I, I just love how it is so practical and tangible. So can you share with us maybe one or two of those 
go further or those activity suggestions so that parents have an idea of what they, the fun things they'll get to do with their kids. The messy things, like you said. <laughs> sure. So uh, the first identity truth that's talked about in the handbook and the identity truths book is, I am the artwork of the one true God. Um, and it talks about how the child is created to worship him. We talk about how they are God's masterpiece. You know, um, John 1, 3 says nothing exists that he did not create. And then Ephesians 2, 10 is we are God's workmanship. We, some translations, we are his masterpiece created mm. to do good works in Christ Jesus. We really wanted to explore in the go further discussion questions, have there been times when you have felt maybe not so special? or less than a masterpiece. And, you know, this question is just as much for the adults in the discussion as it is for the children. Um, mm -hmm. and, and another question is, you know, how would you go about your day differently if you believed that you were God's masterpiece? How would you treat others differently? How would you see yourself differently? So it just digs a bit further. Let's bring this home on a very personal level. What would this really look like if this took root and started to bear fruit in your life? And then in the activity section of that same identity truth, I just love this one. I get a couple pieces of paper. So the adult that's doing this book with the child or children Everyone gets a piece of paper, some crayons or markers or whatever you want to color with. And you're going to draw the other person. But you're going to ask the Lord how he sees that person. And I love this because children can be so incredibly sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Mm. They don't rationalize his images away. They don't rationalize his voice away. They are open, wide, and ready to receive. And I believe that many adults are going to be blessed by this activity as well as the children. <laughs> right. So you take a minute before you draw and you just get quiet, close your eyes, ask Holy Spirit, how do you see this person? You get the image and then you draw it to the best of your ability. Mm -hmm. And then you give it to them as a present. We just believe that that is a transformative activity because too often when we see with the eyes of the natural, especially as adults, our instincts tend to be uh, self-critical or putting down or words from our past come back sometimes when we think of who we are. But then when you hear and you see what the Holy Spirit is saying and what he is presenting as how he sees you, it can be very revolutionary, restorative, and healing in someone's life, mm -hmm. children included. And so another activity on that same identity truth is get some modeling or sculpting clay and spend some time, take like half an hour, an hour, however ornate you want to be and however much time you want to take and sit down and create a masterpiece. It could be anything. But just something that you've put a lot of thought into and you've had fun with and you've put your creative juices into. And then you're going to keep those maybe forever, maybe for a good long while, but put them someplace visible and spend some time going over. How did you feel while you were making this masterpiece? How do you feel about looking at it now, now that it's all finished? What's it like to see what you mm -hmm. saw in your head? come into reality. And I think that's a powerful opener for parents to be able to say, just as you delight in this clay, so too does the king of heaven delight in you. You know, they're, they're great concrete learning opportunities for children. Yeah, that's beautiful. And I was going to say that I know you designed this for children, but parents... <laughs> We need these reminders too, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. 
this is just for us yes. as much as it is for the kids. Because how, like you said, those things come back from our past or maybe we hear that voice, our parents' voice inside our head and it wasn't speaking good things over us. And there's defeat we've listened to or whatever was spoken over us on the playground. It doesn't matter. We need to be mm -hmm. reminded of those God truths about our identity as well, right? Yes. Yes. 100%. I think especially yes. as sometimes when you're a homeschooling mom, right, it can be so isolating. Mm. Not always, but there are times when it feels very isolating. And I think in that space of isolation, unless you are equipped with the truth, you know, it's easy to come into agreement with lies that are sent your way during the day. I know I've personally experienced this and I've had to go, hang on a second. Why is that buzzing around in my head? Right. There's no place for that. I can't afford that, that in my head. So yeah, it, you're absolutely right, Kimberly. It's, it's refreshing and it's powerful for adults, just as much as it is for the children. <laughs> I could see how this would be perfect for Sunday school classes. This would be a great a thing to do during the summertime if maybe uh, your mom is home with the kids or homeschool is too busy during the school year that you could just uh, enjoy slow down and enjoy going over these identity truths and then doing the fun activities with your kids. Right. That is actually one of the things we're doing as a family this summer because last year we moved and it was just a very busy year setting up in a new place. So to actually go through with the book this time, and go mm. through some of these practical activities yeah. because my son now needs to learn these. You know, he was too young at the time, but he's ready now right. for these activities. And honestly, can you ever hear this stuff too much? I mean, we need oh, to be <laughs> renewed. We need to be right. refreshed with the truth. Yes, exactly. Uh, we already mentioned the illustrations, but it's a beautiful keepsake. Like it's, it's so lovely to come back to mm -hmm. again and again. I know that parents, when they get a hold of this and have it on their coffee table or on their bookshelf, their children will just be naturally drawn to picking it up and reading it again and again. I mean, it's even better than the science books, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I think yeah. so, but I'm a little biased. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So Rachel, if you could share one thing to all the moms listening, what would you tell them? So I would tell the mom who's listening to this, that you have far more influence over your children than you realize. And that influence has been given to you by father God. And he did not make a mistake. You are positioned uniquely in each of their lives to plant seeds of truth. And so I would encourage you to ask Holy Spirit, what is it that I am to deliver this day? Mm -hmm. And then deliver it from a place of rest, not a place of striving. You're not controlling the outcomes. That's not up to you but you are uniquely positioned as the Lord's messenger to these young, impressionable hearts. Deliver the word, deliver the action, whatever it is to your children. And as you pray, the Lord will do the work of the heart in each of them. And you can absolutely trust him to accomplish and finish what he is starting through you. Maybe at the breakfast table, maybe at bedtime, maybe while you're driving in the car or going for a walk, however it is and wherever it is, the Lord has positioned you. And I just feel to say as well that he is well pleased with you for being a faithful mother to your children. Well done. Mm. 
Thank you for that. So tell us, Rachel, where we can find you. Where can we follow you? Where can we get God's masterpiece, identity truths for our children, for our family? Well, right now it's available either through my website, which is rachelhilliker.com. And there's a section there uh, that you can click on about the book and then you'd be able to order your copy from there. Or you can go to amazon.com or amazon.ca and you would be able to just type in God's Masterpiece, Identity Truths for Children, and both of the books will come up and you can order it from there. In terms of following me, I, I must admit I'm fairly new to all the social media platforms, even after all this time. Um, so the website is basically where you can find out more about me and get in touch with me. Or the books include an email where you can reach out to my husband and I, and uh, we would love to hear from people. Yeah, great. Well, thank you so much, Rachel, for being with us today. I just loved everything that you shared. And I know that you have blessed and encouraged some moms listening today. So thank you for those, those truths you shared. You're welcome. My pleasure. Ah, oh, that was so good. I so appreciated all that Rachel shared about helping our children understand God's identity, what he says about them. I hope that the things she shared blessed your heart, Mama. Would you let us know? Leave a comment and tell us what you appreciated most about what Rachel shared today. We would both love to hear from you. I bless you, Mama. I'll see you next time on the Renewed Mama podcast. Words have a powerful influence. It doesn't matter whether they are spoken, written in a text, emailed, memed, heard in a song, or seen on TV. Words can portray life, encouragement, hope, or lies, such as, You'll never be good enough. You'll never be successful. It's too hard. Why even try? I just can't get it like all the smart kids in class. Speak Life Badges helps you change the messages that your children hear and believe. They need to hear your words of life. They need to hear your words that encourage them in who they are as a person and who they can grow to become. Speak Life Badges are sticker award badges with an I am message so that your child owns and believes the truth spoken over them. And while children like being recognized with awards, the lasting influence are the words you speak over your child as you award them with the badge. Sometimes we just don't know how to speak life. Sometimes in frustration we react and say the wrong thing. Speak Life Badges gives you scripts, the words for you to say to your child or student as you award each badge. So that when your child is out on the playground or working through a hard math problem or standing in front of a mirror or comparing themselves to another classmate, when they are faced with truth or the lie about who they are as a person, now the lie won't have any strength or merit. Because they, through you, with the help of Speak Life Badges, have been told that I am strong, I am smart, I can do the hard stuff, I work with excellence, I don't give up, I keep trying, I am teachable. Speak Life Badges is changing mindsets and breaking lies in the hearts of children. Children like Charlotte, who is so proud to wear her I am a great reader badge because no one else had made her feel so happy about her reading before. Or Colton, who was willing to face the hard schoolwork and try again and again until he got it because he believed the words that were written on his Speak Life badge. I am a champion. Now you can use your words intentionally to speak life over your children using Speak Life badges.